Good evening, everyone. Joe for jazbeeshobbyland.com. Our last break of the night is a one-box personal box break. Jaspies says we don't do personal boxes. We do now. Except for this, it's special. Rick and Morty, season one. So big thanks to Curtis, Calgary Curtis, who was the lone brave soul to grab a box of this personal box, jazbeeshobbyland.com for Rick and Morty fans. Now, I have to admit, you would think, man, Joe seems like a dude that would watch Rick and Morty. I do seem like that dude, don't I? A lot of people, including Curtis, have definitely recommended Rick and Morty. I've seen a few episodes here and there. I've liked what I've seen, but I just haven't... I just haven't, uh... I just haven't gotten around to... to the Rick and Morty. All right, so I don't, it's dark boxes, so I don't know if the, the numbers are going to be there, but All right, I think they should show up. All right, so you can kind of see. Right there. So you can kind of see the numbers right there in Sharpie. So there's one, two, three, five, six. All right. So Curtis, as a, as a sort of, hey, thanks for grabbing the first box, being the bold soul to get the first box from the fresh case, I'll let you pick the box unless you want random.org to do it, which is usually how I'll do it. And then subsequent breaks, I'll probably just grab a box randomly for someone anyway. But House pick? Well, here's how I'd usually pick when I put these in the back. It would be my eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Ma oh, too much pressure. All right. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. This is how I do it. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Miny, mo. All right. So it would be box four. That's right, Ben. We're breaking more. So there's box four right there. And it is Rick and Morty. Look for randomly inserted autograph and sketch cards. Five cards per pack, 24 packs per box. Uh, everything ships in this. Nothing to sort. Personal boxes. All right, Curtis, thank you. And good luck. Want the box? All right. The lip of these cards are right here. Okay. Curse will be interested to see, hear my contact. I might I may not have too much commentary for this I'm afraid. I got to watch I got to watch more Rick and Morty. I saw the ep I saw an episode where where there was a TV show and some lady was getting coffee and then she disappeared and and then she appeared on the show and then it was like the show was like where did she go? <laughs> Or, hey, where am I? Or something like that. Which I thought was pretty hilarious. And Morty's the kid, right? And Rick's the mad scientist. If it's on, I watch it. I keep it in the background. I just, I just need to pay attention to it more. I like when uh, I like when Morty freaks out when the kid freaks out and he's just like I just can't handle this, <laughs> you know. <laughs> he's got this very panicked voice. He's like I don't know if I can do this. You got it, Morty, right? So that's kind of Rick's voice. You got you got you to do it, Morty. You got to do it. You got to go and 
Gotta go to that interdimensional, get the ray gun, and then... I don't know if I can. It's sort of like a, it's sort of like a Doc Brown, Marty McFly kind of relationship, except a lot more intense. All right, so you got you got these guy that checklist there. Here we go. Whoa! Look at this, Curtis. My eeny meeny miny mo method got you a sketch card. Boom! It's all downhill from here. Nice. Nice sketch card. Bam. And what's this? Is this like a little sticker? Temporary tattoo? I almost want to put this on myself right now. I'll s we'll, s we'll save these for you. Nice, and a temporary tattoo. What's up, Tice? Yeah, well, we're doing this is our last one right here. Nice. What are what are these? Oh, that's a sticker? There it is. Oh, all sorts of fun stuff here. So I don't know I don't know what I'm supposed to save. <laughs> the testicles, I remember that. I don't know what I'm supposed to save. I'm assuming these are somewhat specialer than the other ones. I'll set the inserts aside. Everything obviously goes to you. <laughs> Smiths. Nice. I've seen this episode. Ants in my eyes, Johnson. Well, it is a family-friendly show, but at this point, if we're doing Rick and Morty, this is we're we're now we're now TV fourteen. So this is what is this? Looks like it's a little little punch out thing, a little display or something like that. people. There he is. Whoa, what's this? Authentic autograph? It's Maurice LaMarche as ship captain. Look at this, Curtis. I eeny, meeny, miny, mowed a good box for you. This stuff is loaded, folks. JaspiesHobbyland.com personal boxes. There's the scratch and sniff that you were talking about. I'll leave that to you. See, they know it's a family show, too. They bleeped it out. Another checklist. Looks like another temporary tattoo. All sorts of fun stuff. Another sticker. And there you have it. Wait, oh, I forgot this. Not there you have it. There's a little more right here. <laughs> Paul Fondlers. I feel like this is kind of a weird show that is sort of up my alley. I need to watch. Is this another sketch card? So, so two sketch cards and an autograph. 
And another scratch and sniff. And there you go. So you got the auto. And two sketch. I mean, are these big characters in the in the show? I have no idea. But I'm sure anytime you get sketch cards, it's great. So there you go. Curtis, thank you for giving it a shot. And uh thank this two thumbs pointing at this guy for picking the right box. There you go, folks. Joe for jazbeeshobbyland.com. We will see you next time for more Rick and Morty. Give it a shot, folks. I gotta start watching this show too. All right, thanks everyone. We'll see you next time. Bye bye.